Good morning class. Today we are going to read a poem in the time of drought by Mary Hanifoot. Mary Hanifoot, who lived from 1846 to 1918, was a Scottish-born Australian poet and editor. She is well remembered for a bush ballad poem where the pelican builds. Let's read this three stanza poem in the time of drought by Mary Hannifoot. The rushes are black by the river bed, and the sheep and the cattle stand wistful-eyed where the waters were in a waste of gravel and sand, or pass over their dying and dead to slake their thirst at the slimy pool. Shall they pine and perish in pangs of droughts while thy river, O God, is full? The fields are furrowed, the seed is sown, but no dews from the heavens are shed. And where shall the grain for the harvest be? And how shall the poor be fed? In waterless gullies they winnow the earth, new turned by the miner's tool, and the wayfarer faints beneath his lightened load, yet the river of God is full. For us, O Father, from tropic seas, let the cloud be filled, that shed rough wind rains from the Andes' eastward slope. Soft snows on Himalaya's head, fright for us as for others they, thy dark winged fleet, that soon by the waters cool we shall say with gladness. Our need was great, but the river of God was full. In the time of drought is a poem of hope and prayer in the times of natural calamity. The poem paints a stark picture of a drought-ravaged landscape. The cracked earth and dried-up riverbeds are stewed with animal carcasses in the midst of which stand a half-dead animal looking to soothe their parched hosts with the slime from the pool. The empty fields, waterless ravines, and men and women busy with hunger tell the sorry tale of a once green land now brown and withered. However, in the middle of this bleak scene, we look up to heaven and pray to God to send us some water from his brimming river in the form of much-needed rains. Thank you.